one of the most important orientations given to this artist is that they do not keep the fans waiting because literary is the fans that fits them is the fans that allow them to have this uh, massive contract massive money inflow and the uh, massive uh, uh connections and uh, fame without the fans no one will recognize this artist. So because of that, you do not treat, mistreat, or keep the fans waiting. Well, in Netherlands, I think Bono Boy is the most hated person currently there. Because he kept many fans waiting for hours. And uh, later he said he wasn't able to perform. I was told, although the numbers are contradicting, they said there were like 34,000 people waiting. Some said 70,000 people waiting. So whatever numbers, if it was 2,000 people waiting and you are a performer as an artist, you are supposed to perform because those people paid money duly. Use their money to book flight tickets. Some may have flown in to that venue from different cities. Some road transport. Some, whatever way they came involves foil. Whatever way they came involves transportation. So because of that, they have already spent money. Spent money, we are not even talking about the ticket. The money they spent on ticket. So, they already bought ticket and they spend extra to get themselves there. So, we will buy a ticket of $140, uh, $140 hmm? then spend close to $200 to get themselves to that venue because they might use flight and they will book accommodation to spend the night because shows are usually organized at night. So, you see. Some are already may have definitely budgeted so much money. Why some are we are already planning on engaging their girlfriend at that venue? Some were planning to celebrate their lover's uh, birthday. Why some were there to celebrate their anniversary? Why some might be there to celebrate their their new promotion? Or some might be coming there to celebrate or maybe try to ease anxiety. And then a Bono Boy didn't show up. That is the heart right, most disrespectful thing any artist will show to his fans. Although the circumstances might not be, uh, be that uh, good, like it, it might be heart of his power in cancelling the show, like what he said in this. Uh, social media page he said netherland i'm so excited to be here i was so excited to see you all tonight well it's already in netherlands so it wasn't a visa problem i thought it was a visa problem because nigerian artists usually have visa problem but brother boys i think he's a uk citizen because he's good in uk so he has a uk visa so netherland uh, visa shouldn't be difficult for him so he also said, I am constantly humbled and in a view of the love and support I get from you all. Thank you for coming and waiting just to see us. I will forever appreciate that. I am hurt that I couldn't see you tonight, even though I really wanted to. You want to make sure... We want to make sure you get the best love Damini experience possible. And that won't have happened today for a number of reasons. My amazing team have been hard at work trying to salvage it, but we couldn't do it in time. I will be announcing a new date in a few hours, so watch out for it. He says announcing a few uh, days, a few dates in a few hours. Well, some people saw that message as not 
really heartfelt. Like Bonner Boy just put it out there. Not even from Bonner Boy. So most definitely that message is not from Bonner Boy. Bonner Boy team put up that message. And I don't know what is wrong with some artists. You are already in the venue, right? Why don't you come out and be like, you know what? I cannot be here. I'm sorry. But usually they don't do that because it's not advisable for them to do that. I don't know what it means by technical issue or trying to give the best love that many performance ever. Come on stage. There's light, Abby. It's not Africa. Some Africa country where there's no light. Maybe there will be short uh, power supply. And even if there is shortage of power supply, we still have a generator and every other thing to to generate light so i don't really see the reasons and meanwhile he he also said according to the people who were selling out tickets they said dearest ticket buyers and bonoboy fans we we are de devastated that that bonoboy wasn't able to perform tonight due to circumstances and we and bonoboy himself could not have foreseen and we know you are devastated too we have been trying to let the show go and not in the very last moment, but unfortunately, the local authority did not let us go through because they thought it was irresponsible. All ticket buyers will get an email coming Monday with more information about the new date and ticket. We love you all and want to thank you for the bottom of our heart for all your love, support and trust in us throughout the year. Well... It seems the thing has also has to do with the local authorities there, so it might not be entirely Bonoboy's fault. So I think the Netherlands uh, Bonoboy fans should kind of like understand the situation. I don't know. Simply forgive him now. Then I want to talk about Ruga. Ruga has not learned his lesson yet. I have severally told Ruga, like, I have advised the way you go on stage, dance, and do all those funny stuff on stage might not bring uh, reasonable fans to watch your show or to come to your show. There are people who do not like such things. Know how to balance it. You cannot be bringing girls on stage all the time. Don't be thirsty. Hmm? It's wrong. It's entirely wrong, guys. I don't know his management should tell him, no, you need to uh, stay a little bit. You don't need to be doing that, you know. Stop doing that. You, we are not going to a stripper club. We are going to watch you perform your music, not doing all those dirty dance and all the rest. It's going to kill his stage performance if he keeps doing this, honestly speaking. It's going to kill his stage performance. If you want to see people actually doing this, you will see all those uh, Jamaica artists and all the rest. You don't see them in huge stage because they do all those rugged stuff. Ruga will kill his stage performance if he keeps doing this. He better learn his, his he better learn and start being more kind of like although music is not viewed as a responsible spot, but it should be you no know, it should apply sense. Don't bring out girls to perform on stage. Stop it. Stop. He needs to stop it. Let him keep doing it. I bet you we ruin his stage performance. His ticket won't be selling out that fast again. You better be careful. Then to end this video, I want to talk about uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, uh, of course, the Euro 2024 qualifier match. You know, Ronaldo country won 3-0 yesterday against another country. But the most... Uh, inspiring moment the most daring moment is when it's about a fan who ran a a a, a pitch invader who ran into the pitch and uh you know, went straight to Ronaldo called Ronaldo and uh lived to Ronaldo it was just a beautiful moment just to honor Ronaldo you know he was one of the greatest people of all time and to many people regarded as the greatest player of all time because he has his own fan as well. So they will tell you Ronaldo is the greatest player of all time. Why other people will still disagree? Well, 
lift him up and uh, of course it was just a beautiful moment and ronaldo was slightly cool with that he wasn't really angry so he appreciated the love and that uh, the, the pitch invader most definitely will be fine and taking that away after that then the most uh, trendy one is about this high speed it's a very popular uh, Instagram social media influencer and er anyone who knows ISP knows that he's a very very die-hard Ronaldo fan and uh, finally after uh, following Ronaldo around you know watching his uh, match in most appearances you know finally he got the time to meet one-on-one -on -one personally with Ronaldo. Ronaldo stopped and came out to hug him out and uh, they just display. Well, it was just a beautiful moment and uh, I think his long life a dream was finally accomplished that day. Hmm? That day. Ronaldo and most of others 